What's going on everybody? Good morning. Welcome, welcome to Shit the Fit episode 2. The video series for those of you getting your lives back together and trying to get back in shape and trying to stay motivated, stay on the grind. It makes you want to hurt me so. Alright. <laughs> I'm not really sure why my music started playing when I'm recording a video, but that's dope, whatever. Uh, today's video is about accepting your start point, where exactly you are on this journey, your fitness journey, and um, not beating yourself up about it. Like, I was at the gym today, man, and like, dude, like, this, this shirt is not hugging me in the right places. I got a gut going on, I've got like, like some fat on my lower part of my chest that I gotta chisel out and I just like looked in the mirror and I was like damn what the fuck like <laughs> like I don't really like I look like shit by my standards before you guys start leaving all the comments you don't look bad you look okay whatever like yeah, yeah I get it, I get it. I look okay but by my standards and I've been in much better shape I look like shit and it took a lot for me to start going back to the gym you know because my clothes don't fit me right and you know a lot of them are just tight and they're not tied in the right places like literally like guys like rose I can't even like show you but you know the sleeves aren't hugging like they used to like look at all the space in the sleeves it's not tight man my arms deflated I got a little chub I'm working with and uh you know just that was a big reason for me to like postpone going back to the gym you know a lot of people feed themselves some bullshit like when I lose 10 15 pounds then I'll go to the gym and I'll go work out in public and you know those 10 to 15 pounds ever happen progress happens the moment you say fuck it I'm going back to the gym I have made the decision to get back in shape and do this thing and I don't give a fuck if it takes me a hundred workouts a thousand workouts 975 healthy meals 1,000 times of saying no to those fucking donuts and sugar sugar retreats in the break room doesn't fucking matter the point is when you make the decision that you're going to change your life for the better when you make that resolve have some confidence and I remember watching this video that didn't make sense to me back in the time it was Will Smith and he was talking about just uh, whenever he's like getting ready to like take on a certain role or do a certain thing or like, get in shape. He's like, yeah, I'm going to run a marathon. He tells himself as soon as he sets his mind to it that he's going to do it, that's it. He's going to do it. It's that easy. Like, he's going to make it happen. Like, all that's left is for waiting, in his words, quote, quote, wait for y'all to see. Because once it's the mind's made up here, you're going to do whatever you can to make it happen. And it builds up a very high level of confidence within yourself. And um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, I looked in the mirror and I thought I looked like shit for a good while. Honestly, I feel like I look like shit. But I still had a good workout. Because the next thought played, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to fix this shit. I'm going to get my ass in shape. I'm going to start looking good again. I'm going to start feeling good again. And um, then it just it made sense. And I was thinking, like, oh, yeah, Will Smith said that. Like, as soon as you make it up in your mind... Doesn't matter if it takes 100 workouts. Doesn't matter if it takes 1,000 workouts. Doesn't matter if it takes three years, four years. Doesn't matter what your starting point is. You're five pounds overweight, you're 50 pounds overweight. The important thing is do not compare yourself to these fitness models. Do not compare yourself to other people. Compare yourself to the person you were yesterday. And as long as you do that, you're gonna make progress. You're going to get there. And if you make that resolve, it's literally that simple. Say, I'm gonna get in shape. I'm gonna do this thing. I'm telling myself that right now. I am going to do this shit. I don't care how much work I have to do. I don't care if I gotta eat six meals a day again. I don't care if I gotta be super at with it with my meal prep. I don't care if I need to eat chicken and broccoli. I don't care if I need to start dipping out and not eating sugary treats or out as often. I don't care if I need to work out and build up six days a week. I don't care if I need to work out twice a week. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get to my goals to achieve the kind of body I want to have and um, it's not about comparing my body to other people's bodies it's not about trying to be the next Greg Plitt or the next uh, I don't know fitness model whoever's famous and has a good-looking body I, can't, I couldn't even tell you uh, it's not about having like 
Ryan Reynolds six pack abs. I think he still has a six pack. I have, I have no fucking clue. It's about being the best fucking Sammy. It's about you going to the gym, being the best you, whoever the fuck you are, being the best you and having the confidence to say, hey, I'm going to get to the gym and I'm going to do this shit. So anyways, I did that shit today because during the 4th of July weekend, I had like nine fucking cake balls and it was just one of those weeks where, man, I felt like I just undid all the progress I did, all the work as I did. Fucked it up. Nine cake balls, and there's probably some other like sugary treats I had. I think I had like one donut and ah! Ah! like that's not what it's about, man. It's about that internal will and desire to do whatever it takes. Throw everything you have and more at the wall until something sticks, because something will stick. Have faith, my friends, all of you on this fitness journey. All of you guys trying to get from shit to fit, trying to better yourselves, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it happen because we've told ourselves in here, it's gonna happen. See you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And if you wanna be a part of the community, if you wanna stay motivated to get in shape, to stay in shape, to talk about these topics, health, fitness, motivation, inspiration, the struggles of getting your life back together, and subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode. See y'all in the next one.